What is the secret of your golf swing? Guts. Sometimes the, the guts mean more than the, than the golf swing. Good morning, guys. I've got an awesome video for you today about seeing, feeling, and trusting your swing before you hit a shot. Now, yesterday I made a video about Seve Ballesteros, and I think that's a great one to watch if you haven't seen it yet. But the reason I bring it up is because he had so much belief in himself to pull off the shots. That's that's such a big, big deal. It's so important that you actually trust yourself. And when I worked with Lori Rinker, who's part of the famous Rinker family down in Florida, three siblings that played the tour, she said 90% of the shot is taken care of before you ever take the club back. And I've heard this since from other professionals. And this is something that I, I think most golfers, they completely miss it, okay? So for example, the very first thing you have to do before you pull a club or look at yardage is look at the lie. You have to look at the lie and determine, you know, can I get a clean strike on this ball? You have to look at the lie to see, am I uphill, downhill, side hill? Like you have to know that stuff before you take into consideration the yardage or the club. Like this is, this is just stuff that you have to do. Now, the reason why I really think this is a great topic to talk about today is yesterday I went out and I shot 74, just, you know, played an afternoon round. And for me, any round under 75 is a good round. And I've had several of them since my over the top miracle swing, but I'm not even warming up. I'm just going from the freeway to the fairway. And this is something I've never, ever been able to do. In fact, it's like, it's almost like I don't even want to hit a ton of golf balls now because I don't want to get in my freaking head anymore. I know I can hit the golf ball with my miracle swing. I think a big problem I used to have when I would go through my pre-shot routine is I'd have so much stuff in my head about my swing and what I had to do that it was very difficult to settle into my pre-shot routine, whereas now it's much easier. I just want to hit down on the ball. <laughs> That's basically it. I just draws it back and hits it. So I'm going to take you through the optimum pre-shot routine that I've learned from professionals. This video is an excerpt from the MSE golf system that's available at myswingevolution.com or you can watch it as a part of MSE TV. You know, this is a great golf program. Now there is a third swing center, which is the hands. So we're gonna watch the hands go around and they throw the club. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of it today because I think that it's very, very important to understand your pre-shot routine. Guys, the next MSC Intensive is May 28th and 29th. And we're gonna be able to work on a lot of this stuff because I'm not gonna spend the whole time talking about technique. The miracle swing is the easiest way to swing the club that I'm aware of, and I've been looking my whole life. So come on out to the MSC Intensive. Email me, Christo, at myswingevolution.com for that, or if you'd like lessons. I've got new merchandise. i got MSC caps. I'm waiting on my first ball cap and new polo shirt to come in very soon. So enjoy this video from the MSC Golf System, and I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. What is the secret of your golf swing? Guts. Sometimes the, the guts mean more than the, than the golf swing. You know, that, uh, of course, Hogan was perfect. But uh, you think a guy like Arnold Palmer, he used to swing like a truck driver. But he beats you. I used to always say that competing in martial arts was 90% mental. But you can't get to this mental level until you have fundamentals that you can rely on. Once you have fundamentals you can rely on, the golf ball will start to behave the way you want it to behave. So we're gonna talk about some mental concepts that are definitely gonna help your golf game. 
I think it's important that we rely on a process, that we always have a process that we're going through when we play the game of golf, because this is going to relieve some pressure from us regardless of the outcome. When you start to think too much about the potential outcome of a shot, you're not in the right mental framework. You have to stay focused on the task at hand. You have to rely on your process. When you work on your process, you can relieve yourself of stress because stress comes from anticipating an outcome or stress can come from remembering a very bad outcome from the past. We don't wanna be thinking in the past and we don't wanna be projecting into the future. We wanna stay focused on the task at hand and then have faith in the fundamentals that we've created. Once you have your engine working properly, it's much more likely you're gonna find success every time you step up to the golf ball. Remember, first you have to see the shot in your mind, then feel the shot in your whole body, and trust that the outcome will be what you desire. Remember, see the shot, feel the shot, trust the shot. I want you to swing over the top. You heard me, now hear me out. My little over the top move is the final puzzle piece that I've been searching for for 12 years. I want you to swing over the top because it's easy, it's natural, and many of the greatest golfers in history swung over the top. Do you think uh, you picked up some yardage since we've been working oh, on this stuff? On the driver at least 50 to 60 yards. A few decades ago when golf became a big industry, they began to teach swinging wide and out instead of inside and up. This single change of instruction doomed three generations of golfers. I spent 30 years with a dumpster fire swing trying to figure this out. That's why I started my swing evolution. If you're tired of being a bad golfer, click the link below to experience your very own miracle.